welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be experimenting and making some type of spiced apple muffin based on my normal muffin variation. So let's see where it goes. I just washed this apple so I'm going to peel it now. Okay, that was some really bad chopping so I'm, I'm gonna try to do better on the second one. Okay, what I'm really going for with this muffin is to have like a, a fall muffin, like a really nice fall breakfast muffin where you bite into it and you taste all these nice warm flavors. So let's see if that happens. I'm going to start with some flour. So I'm going to do one and a half cups of flour. Next I'm going to add in three fourths cup of sugar and I'm using pure cane sugar today. Okay, next I'm gonna go for all the spices. So I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, um, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, fourth teaspoon of ground ginger, and then two teaspoons of baking powder. It's been so hard for me to open jars lately. Whew. I guess this one just needed a little bit of a different angle. Okay, so all of that is stirred up very nicely and it smells really, really good. It smells like, I have no idea what it smells like, but it smells happy. Like, it makes you happy when you smell it. The wafting doesn't really work with this, but it smells really good. Okay. so. Now we're gonna do the oil, which is gonna be a third cup of oil. Third cup of oil, I'm gonna pour it straight in there. Also gonna add a third cup of water. Where are you? Oh, oh. You have no wine. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry. Then also one egg. Okay, so we have all of the muffin batter in here. It's fully done and it's looking, I would say, pretty good. Very viscous. Um, and then the oven, of course, has already been preheating to 375 degrees. Now I'm just gonna grab the spray so I can spray the muffin tins and uh, get all that in the oven. I use jumbo muffin tins by Wilton, but I'm pretty sure you can use any muffin tin you want to use. I just don't like small, small muffins, so I use the bigger ones, which are like this side. Okay guys, so these muffins are all set to go in the oven but before I do that I'm going to make some banana muffins to accompany them because I just don't want them to be lonely you know Job. Okay guys, the banana muffins are also ready to tag team the oven. The last thing I want to do is put some walnuts on half of them because I love walnuts and a lot of my other family members 
first don't. So this is my little grandma touch right here. I will say that the past couple of times that I've made uh, banana nut muffins, my husband has eaten the nutty ones instead of the plain. So let's see if he keeps it up. But okay, and these are just gonna go into the oven now. check and see what Liam's up to. He's probably still sleeping. I know he's still sleeping actually. They only have like um, 35 seconds, but I don't know why I feel like it will help. I'm gonna probably keep them in for another minute so the end ones get golden brown too. So these are the apple spice muffins, the banana muffins. I'm just gonna check them by inserting a knife. Okay, so these are gonna go back in for a couple minutes because okay. it came out like a little bit damp. And then go in for another minute or so too. They're just like a tiny bit like they're cooked but I don't like when they're gummy on the inside so I'm just gonna put them back in. Claymore and I are going to split this one. I don't know, it's just more satisfying when you break it open, so I'm just going to do that. It's good. <gasps> Alright, so I'm going to put this in the freezer to cool for a few minutes, and then Clay and I are going to test it. You want the bigger one? How oh, rude. What do you think? Does it taste good? Okay guys, so this is a really, really good muffin. It was experimental, which I think that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, but this is now my new go-to apple spice muffin. The outside is really nice and crispy. You bite into that, and then you're welcomed by this nice, soft, sweet breading. It's like apple pie filling in a nice, sweet, breaded, fluffy coating. And then that crispy outer layer of the muffin makes it like amazing. I'm gonna be eating all of these, so hopefully there's one left for my husband when he comes home from work. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today, and I hope you will join me again next week for another recipe. Bye!